like to start off today by saying that you are in for such a treat because you would think that the number of claw machine related news articles would be super small, but there are so many news articles out there and they're all really ridiculous. Whoosh. The article that got me into this wormhole of claw machine news articles, it's called New Taipei Man Wastes Son's Tuition on Claw Machines tries to steal it back. A 44-year-old man, Mr. Zheng, wasted his son's 5,000 NTD tuition on crane machines. He enlisted a 22-year-old co-worker to help him break into one of the claw machine arcades because they noticed that there were no cameras. Once they stole the 10,000 from the machine, they thought, eh, no cameras, we're good, and proceeded to stay inside of the store in broad daylight and count out 10 by 10, all 10,000 coins. <laughs> Who would think that? Come on, let's go, 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 get in. And then they take the money out. And they're like, right, we're good, we got it. It's uh, one, two, three. How long would that take? They had 10,000 NT dollars. Police arrived within 10 minutes. <laughs> which I'm assuming wasn't enough time to count out all $10,000. Police simply asked, did you steal those? To which they replied, uh, yeah, we did, I guess, yeah. What is in these machines that make them so addicting to play? One, tissues slash toilet paper. As this news article reports grimly, Taiwan has fallen into the grips of a toilet paper panic. Claw machine owners cash in on toilet paper zombie wave. You know, I've been living here for a while and I don't remember any zombies. Or were they like zombies made of toilet paper? Well, then that would be a, a mummy. Get your facts straight. This one guarantees you'll get the package of toilet paper for 20 NT dollars, which is like less than a dollar. But not just toilet paper. You could also get some stuffed animals, line ID of a pretty woman, or a hunk, <laughs> a fake iPhone, child stuffed animal, wait, 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 a child? Yes. Three year old boy had to be rescued by firefighters from an arcade claw machine in Taichung after he somehow wandered into the contraption. They dispatched one ambulance and eight firefighters. Eight firefighters. Oh, sound the sirens, ready to rescue you. But like honestly, they just needed the owner to open the glass front. Oh, but fearing the boy could suffer heat stroke and apparently not worrying about glass cuts, they smashed the glass window open to get him. Boy was fine. Moving on. There are also some reports of fruits, vegetables, and instant noodles being sold in the claw machines, which seems convenient and fun but also live crabs and live freshwater crayfish. The creatures would try to avoid the claw because of their survival instinct, thus increasing the uncertainty of the gambling. Honestly, I don't think that this is very funny or cool or cute. I cried probably more than once when my parents tried taking me to Red Lobster when I was a kid because they had the crabs or the lobsters up front. And this is just not right, but still ridiculous. Back to some other topics. Not only can you get the line ID of a pretty woman, you could also get pornography and adult paraphernalia. In fact, 70% of the claw machines surveyed in major cities contained illegal goods. They have laws against um, selling these items to minors, and they're not supposed to be sold within a certain distance of schools, so this issue was of the utmost importance to the government. So important, in fact, that Taizong city councilor wanted to go take a picture in front of one. Seems professional. I think that this next one is more along the lines of what you'd expect to see in the news relating to claw machine articles. It's just a man getting caught burgling the store. Mr. Who stole some 17 watches. 
dashboard cameras, and other electronics from the machines. Civilians actually helped police follow the guy until they arrived on the scene. Good job, <laughs> citizens. When confronted, who told the police? <laughs> who told the police? <laughs> Mr. Who told the police? From Whoville. Just kidding. I. Is this even funny? He told the police that he was not confident, so he stole them instead. So you see, this is all just an issue of lacking self-confidence. Believe in yourself. What I did not expect was that this photo of this man with his arm stuck in a claw machine that made it to the news was not about him stealing anything. It was just a news article about a man who got his arm stuck inside of the machine. They thought the public needed to know this critical information. Breaking news. Quote, A man found himself in quite a jam <laughs> as his arm became stuck in a claw machine while trying to retrieve a stuffed Snoopy doll that had failed to fall all the way down the hatch at a Crane Game arcade. Mr. Do even called the owner of the store to ask if it was okay to get it out. Yeah, that's why he even called, won the prize, fair and square, didn't fall all the way down, which is so annoying all the time, and he's like, boop, boop, boop. Excuse me, sorry for bothering you. I just wanted to call and ask if I may be granted permission to retrieve the prize from the machine. Police officers just happened to be patrolling nearby and noticed and asked him, um, why are you lying down under the machine? What I'm wondering is how long he spent in the machine before somebody noticed. Like he could have been stuck there for an hour and like his his phone and his bag or whatever was just put on like a bench nearby and he couldn't get to because he was stuck in the machine. So all he could do is sit there with his arms stuck while people took pictures. <laughs> Like they did for the kid, firefighters showed up. Ready to rescue you. So did the owner, who confirmed that he did win the Snoopy fair and square, so he wasn't charged for anything. However, quote again, again this is a quote from the news article, police urged members of the public not to try to reach inside claw machines themselves because they could easily suffer injuries. Everything's so ridiculous. Taiwanese psychiatrist warns of dangers of claw machine addiction. Psychiatrist warns that Taiwanese are becoming addicted to the lure of cute dolls and claw games. An actual psychiatrist is actually concerned about this. Honestly, it seems like it's a little too ridiculous, but also... Me too, me too. I'm concerned as well. He cites a 40-year-old man who did work in construction until he spent all of his 20000 monthly salary on claw machines. All of his salary. He was still unable to get the Bluetooth speakers that he wanted worth 650 NTD. So, he used a powerful magnet to steal them instead, got arrested. Psychiatrist Zhang says upbeat music can enhance a pleasurable mood and stimulate impulse shopping behavior and that cute dolls have a healing effect. Alright, that's about all I can personally take on this topic. Because you made it to the end, why not hit subscribe? And maybe leave a comment down below, hit like, share with a friend. Because at the end I like to ask questions, sometimes people answer them, sometimes people don't. It's fine. If you want to leave a comment and you don't know what to say, then tell me, when was the last time that you used, paid, played a claw machine? I make videos every single week, so let me know what you want to see, and I'll see you then. Bye!